na mi Cassandra Lebo I come from then Lebo family. Now among them they may get what we call today the activist. ABC Mary Man Lebo we one American woman do do a biography of him, write a book about him. Britain's true Negro spectacle. A book where them ban na Africa because of the way we it presents the white man the ways. 200 years ago when the settlers then come yeah and they yeah, become colony na the crews them na then I mean the main people with the colonials them I mean the send go along the other territories Gold Coast when in Ghana and Abiokuta Porta Court and of course Lagos about Macolina offspring of one of the liberated slaves then go back go work na Nigeria under the colonial government. Of course, I'm born in Gambe, but my daddy they all come from Freetown. After some time, they send me to Freetown for camp school. I go FSSG, Freetown Secondary School for Girls. From kindergarten to the last class, I do Cambridge Senior Certificate examination. And after that, I go for a big college. And so I go spend one year in Paris, go do a course there. From there now, I go to England, go complete my degree at Durham University in Newcastle. Later on, I come back to Freetown to my school, FSSG. I teach French and history. They have become principal of the school almost 22 years. I mean, I've been president of Settlers Union, but we changed the name to Creole Descendants Union because after we become independent, we feel, say, other tribes and they show their identity. Now make we change the name from Settlers Union to Creole Descendants Union. Now I make a do what I know say proper, for left legacy, this statue of Thomas Peters, in a meeting, say, man, like that one day, we not get nothing for member. Um, pass that place to King Jimmy, with them, they call Peter's book. With well, that name, they don't lost now. Nobody don't know, say, that place in a Peter's book. But the same reason, I think, say, for put another statue for Africanos, Bill Horton, when I'm in the first black man we go Edinburgh University, uh, become a doctor in 1853. We meet discipline. Discipline, I we don't lose uh, this country, we don't lose uh, everyone. When I've been principal, one young girl, we then send all the way from Lagos for can do six form na uh, FSS the science. And I say, ah, we come on Lagos now. Uh, the daddy say, in mama, when he they grow up as a young girl, he young mama send and come free to say, let one crew woman men. That crew culture they we spread throughout the West Coast. Discipline goes side by side with respect because when you get discipline, when big one talk to you, say now so so so, you go respect them. And discipline, if you discipline, then the corruption go less because you go no say a wrong for take that brown envelope a wrong you are disciplined enough not to encourage it so that now the one big angle for take for correct this corruption <laughs>